Okay, so question three. Calculate the mass of ethylene glycol that must be added to one kilogram of ethanol to reduce its vapor pressure by 10 torr at 35 degrees Celsius. The vapor pressure of pure ethanol at 35 degrees C is 100 torr. Okay, so first, I'm just going to write down everything that we know. So we know the molar mass of ethylene glycol is equal to 62.07 grams per mole. We also know the molar mass of ethanol, 46.07 grams per mole. And we also know the mass of ethanol. So the mass of ethanol is one kilogram. But I'm just going to convert this to grams. Yeah, 1,000 grams. Uh, they also gave us Uh, the vapor pressure of pure ethanol at 35 degrees Celsius. So to denote the vapor pressure of pure ethanol, I'm going to denote it as P star of eth is 100 torr at 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, so after we write down all of the known variables, the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the number of moles for ethanol. So, and eth. To do that, it's just mass over molar mass. And the reason I converted uh, kilograms to grams is because our molar mass values are given in grams per mole. So that makes it so that all the units can cancel out nicely. Okay, so if you were to calculate this, the grams cancel out, and then the moles is left over. Okay, so also in this question, we're at, they're asking what should the mass be to reduce its vapor pressure by 10 torr at 35 degrees C. So that means the pressure of ethanol. due to the addition of ethylene glycol is equal to 100 minus 10, since when it's pure it was 100 degrees, and then we want to reduce it by 10 degrees. You want it to be 90 torr. Okay, so after that, we're going to use something called Raoult's Law. And basically, it's just an equation saying that the pressure is equal to the mole fraction times the pure component uh, pressure. So this is all for ethanol. 
So we know that the pressure of ethanol is 90. We're looking for X. And we know that P star of ethanol is 100. So you get X is equal to 0 0.9. Okay, so this is a multi-step question, but basically after you calculate the mole fraction, uh, you can input it to this second equation, which basically states that this mole fraction of ethanol should also be equal to the number of moles of ethanol over the number of moles in total. Okay, so I'm just going to plug these values in and show also that n total is equal to both the moles of ethanol plus the moles of ethylene glycol. Okay, so after you write this equation down, I'm going to do this on the next page. You should get something like this. This is 3. Okay, so we have 0 0.9 is equal to the number of moles of ethanol, which we calculated to be 21.71, over the total number of moles. So again, it's 21.71. And what's missing is the number of moles for ethylene glycol. Okay, so if we bring this denominator over to the left side, it's going to do some math. You get 19.54 plus 0 0.9 of our unknown is equal to 21.71. Then if you were to isolate that, you get the number of moles of ethylene glycol ends up being 2.41 moles. Okay, so then finally the question is asking calculate the mass of ethylene glycol that must be added. So now that we have the number of moles, we can calculate the mass of ethylene glycol. And all you need to do is multiply the number of moles by its molar mass. Let's plug those values in. So it'll be 2.41 moles times the molar mass, which is given in the question, 62.07 grams per mole. And then you end up with a mass of 149.58 grams. Okay, so let's look at this answer. Okay, so first they calculated the moles of ethanol, the vapor pressure, used Raoult's law. Yep, and then they solved for the unknown with a final mass of 149.58. So, solution is correct.